What's up YouTube? This is your boy Oscar Ntege with yet another YouTube tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about the power of editing in Camera Raw. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you how we're going to bring back lost details in this particular picture from this to that. Definitely, without further ado, let's get started. But before we get started, please take a minute and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment let's dive into this tutorial now first things first look at this image uh, we don't have any details in the shadows the shadows seem to be crushed you know it's basically an underexposed picture look at the lady's face we don't even have any detail look at all the shadow areas we don't see any any details of jeff's face our goal is to brighten up this image and make it look pretty decent you know this is the advantage of shooting uh, raw when you shoot raw it is very easy for you to bring back lost details in the picture other than doing just jpeg so you're going to put the exposures yeah and pump up exposures now let's zoom this back in do you see how we've brought back details in this picture you know a lot you know, uh, I know it, you may be saying, but it has a lot of noise. I'm going to show you how we're going to work on that issue of noise in yeah, in, your, in a few minutes from now. And uh, yes, after bringing back exposures, we see that uh, we've brought back details, but we have an issue here with the highlights. We seem to have lost some detail in the highlights. So here you come into the highlights panel and you bring back highlights but before we go back to bringing back highlights we're going to first white balance this image the way we hide balance this image you come here in the white balance tool right here and then uh, you find a place that is meant to be white in the picture and click at it just like that and automatically your white balance would be set see when you click how the digits change around uh, here the temperature knob and all that uh, but uh, i'm not saying that you normally go with this white balance this just gives you a starting point of where to start from then uh the other thing we're going to do we are going to tackle the issue of the highlights we need to bring back all this lost detail here you know as you see here so we're going to come back in highlights and pull them back here see how we bring back the dripping in the dress see you know all these details that would be lost or brought back let's also go back in the whites and then you know we pull them back so if we want also more detail in the shadows you can always come back in the shadow area and bring back these shadows just like you see right there so the next thing we are going to do we are going to creating bring in some contrast use the blacks see so that now we have a bit of contrast the other thing i normally do is uh, adding in uh, a bit of uh, uh, a bit of clarity now clarity helps in uh, enhancing uh, the tones it's more like contouring the difference between clarity and sharpness is that uh, clarity brings more contrast in between tones while uh, sharpness goes towards uh, sharpening particular pixels i don't know whether that makes sense but let's see the difference if if i increase the the clarity more you see that hdr kind of look to it but that's not what we're going for we are going for a glamorous kind of look so i'll just put it just a bit there so that i get it like at uh say 10 10 is good enough for me so that we bring in more clarity in the more contrast in between tones then i'll pump up the vibrancy a bit you know so that i have the picture popping you like i told you our goal is to have a vibrant looking image then i'll go back into saturation just at uh eight there so so that i have a glamorous image the other thing um I normally do when I have finished getting to this level is called uh, camera calibration. This is where I come to the third last knob and uh, change. This is camera calibration and change what we call uh, the picture style. In Nikon cameras, it's called uh, it's called uh, uh, it is called uh, picture control. In Canon, it's called uh, picture style. So this come this shot is done by uh, Canon 6D Mark II and I, I normally love shooting in landscape due to the vibrancy and uh, the the contrasts it has. So I'll change it to contrast. See how big of a difference this makes. Yeah, let's try a different picture style. Uh, 
you know this is now faithful uh, this is uh, how a monochrome it will give you that different picture styles would give you different feels most times when I'm shooting Nikon I shoot uh, vivid picture styles because uh, my style is much more vibrant and uh, colorful pictures in Canon I normally shoot uh, landscape and it's this is what it gives you so I'll come back here again and bring back the contrast you know uh, because uh, I, I feel like I'm losing some bit of detail in the shadow area so I'll just reduce the contrasts just a bit yeah just like that so af after that I just come back to tones but uh, so far from what I see I feel I like the tones in the picture already so I'm not going to tamper with the tones of the image then uh, what I'll, the next thing I'm going to tamper with is going to be the sharpness now this is uh, another part very important aspect where you have to pay attention now this particular one when you when you're using this uh, you should look at the mask the masking bit the masking now tells you where the sharpness should be and where it shouldn't be so this is where you come in and say you you click the you press the old button on your keyboard and drag this button up now everywhere you see white is going to be and drag this forward everywhere you see white you're going to that is those are places that are going to have the sharpness everywhere that is black the sharpness would be limited I normally love having sharpness on the edges of the images other than having them in the actual colors so I'm going to drag it till I see that it's only the edges of the bride that have sharpness I'll, 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 I'll leave it there and then increase the sharpness around here now here this brings me back to that part where we had uh, noise when you look at this image it has a lot of noise you know this is where we tackle this particular issue so we're going to just come and desaturate the noise using this color knob just right there you know and it, it really really makes a big difference in the image so the next thing we are going to do after we have finished tackling sharpness uh, will come into making some other colors vibrant and uh, maybe changing the feel of the image when you come to hue I may even decide to give it an autumn kind of feel where I would, I would put, change the hue of the greens this is a, a question of test you may want it you may not want it but it's it all comes back to you but for this particular image I just want to give it more of an autumn kind of feel then I would still come and push the yellows towards uh, a bit of the of uh, the yellows towards the this warm uh, side so that I have a completely awesome feel for this particular look you can even uh, make certain colors pop say you may want the greens to pop you may even just increase saturation you may want to desaturate them for a particular feel you know depending really so assuming we desaturated them how what kind of feel will we have it, it looks a bit cinematic cinematic but uh, I won't uh, put it there luminancy luminancy just helps you basically to make particular colors darker for this particular one in order for our bride to stand out we're going to make the greens a bit darker we're going to you know silence them a bit and you know yeah split toning we shall have a complete tutorial on how to use a uh, split toning in our upcoming tutorials and uh, this this I don't normally use it in camera raw and then uh, this is another important aspect uh, there, there is normally purple lining that comes uh, you know outside I don't know whether this, the screen is able to show you but you see those purple greenish lines that come at the edges it normally happens uh, in wide angle shots and uh, shots that have uh, backlight where you get this is called now chromatic aberration this is a uh, this is where you come and click this and you reduce them I don't know whether you can see a difference uh, let me just zoom it in I hope it shows see that is the before that is the after hope your screens are able to see this but it helps you remove that chip chip look off the image then uh, the other thing I do is normally coming here in FX let me zoom this out a bit and uh, I put the 
like a, a veneer. A veneer helps me drive back the eyes to, you know, to, to, to the golden subject by me darkening the edges of this. You can either just take it overboard, but to my interest, I normally love keeping it just we shall further it more towards the inside so that we drive our attention more. Now, I, I feel from where we come from and uh, what we have right now, I mean, just look at these images, you know, the before and after. Give me your feedback in the comments below and uh, t tell me what you think of this. That's that for today and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Please remember to subscribe, to leave a comment, tell me what you think and yes, 